Now we are going to be doing subtracting from 1. We're going to be subtracting fractions from the number 1. Okay, now how are we going to do that? Let's take a look at our first example. Now let us have a look. First, we're going to look at our denominator of the fraction that we are subtracting. And then we know, remember, that this means that the whole one had four pieces in it. So a whole pizza is going to have four pieces out of four when we haven't eaten any slices. Okay. Right, now we're going to minus one quarter off. And so we say four quarters minus one quarter. How many quarters will be left? We always leave the denominator the same, remember? And four minus one is three, of course. Let's go to the second example. Now, I'm sure that you're already looking at the denominator of, of our fraction so that we can see how many pieces um, this pizza has been sliced into. That's right, five. So we know the full pizza is going to have five slices out of five. Nobody's eaten any yet. But now we're going to have three minus off three of the five, three fifths, five fifths minus three fifths, so we say five minus three is two. Remember the denominator stays the same. Right, now let's look at the third example. Here we have this pizza has been divided into six slices. The whole pizza's got six out of six slices. We're going to minus or four slices. How many are left? Four minus, sorry, six minus four is two slices out of six. Remember the denominator is the same. Right, let's look at the last example. Seven pieces out of seven in this pizza. Now, we haven't eaten any of it, but now we're going to minus five slices off. And we're going to say seven minus five gives us two slices. Remember the denominator stays the same. It was two slices out of seven slices that are left. So now I want you to go and do the next activity in this just exactly in the same way.